CPS Energy customers could see a rate increase to pay a $1 billion bill due to natural gas price hikes from that February freeze. That's prompted Congressman Joaquin Castro to introduce a bill to stop price gouging during emergencies. Our Sarah Acosta finds out if passed what that could mean for you. February storm caused major shortages to the natural gas supply chain and prices skyrocketed by 10,000 percent. It's why Congressman Joaquin Castro introduced a bill today that would prevent natural gas price gouging during a declared emergency. If that emergency comes around, it's going to help keep the bill, uh, bills lower uh, through limiting the extent to which natural gas sales can, ex um, can accelerate um, in these various marketplaces. Dr. Taylor Collins, the economic chair at the University of Incarnate Word, says if passed, yes, this would benefit consumers from seeing those prices in the future end up on their utility bills. However, he says it's not fixing the root causes. But those underlying problems are still there and still do expose us to blackouts that come from extreme weather environments like this. A professor at Trinity University agrees. He says it's a Band-Aid solution. He believes the focus needs to be on winterizing equipment to prevent the supply shortage in the first place. That's really what they should be doing, right? Making sure we got enough supply of gas during uh, winter storms rather than capping the price. It's still uncertain if CPS Energy customers will be paying for those natural gas price hikes from February. CPS Energy is more than likely to propose a rate increase in the near future. The latest working estimate is around 8.2%. It's important to note that not all of that rate increase is from the winter storm. Some of it is from overdue customer bills and also much needed infrastructure upgrades. Now, any rate increase from CPS Energy would have to be approved by City Council. I'm Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. If that bill were to pass, it would be up to the Commodity Futures Trading Commission to determine what would be the ceiling limit on natural gas prices.